Everybody, it's Tyler here at the Robot in Three Days competition, but we're actually checking in with the FRC team, 5166, uh, coming in Freeland Fabricators, uh, coming out of Freeland, Michigan. And by the way, I'm here with uh, Deegan, Tyler, Pratish, and Zach. And we're going to be talking about what went in uh, to their robot. It's only week five, and they have a fantastic machine here so far. Of course, a little bit more to work on as we go through uh, the competition, but we're going to check in and see what went into this robot all here coming up on Behind the Bumpers. Your destination for first content, updates, and gaming. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. First updates now, supported by Striker Careers. If you're a college student or recent graduate looking for an incredible internship, take a look at Striker. Striker provides a housing stipend, great pay, and an opportunity to work with state-of-the-art medical technology equipment. Discover why so many first alumni are coming to Striker for their internship or career at careers.stryker.com. Get ready to celebrate your Rapid React build season with Premier Night on Saturday, February 26 at 6 p.m. Eastern at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. This year, no matter where you are in creating your robot, submit a 90 second or less video celebrating your build season to Premier Night. Submissions are due by the end of Thursday, February 24th, and you can get more details on any fun social channel or at firstupdatesnow.com forward slash Premier 22. So we're going to start off on the intake you're about. Talk to me a little bit about what went into your intake and some of the concepts behind it. Okay, so as for the intake, we wanted to keep it functional as much as we could without damaging the ball, but still keeping pressure on it. So we used flexible wheels that can still push the ball, but without, like, they have movement, as you can see, so it doesn't burn the fuzz off the ball and it doesn't lose traction on it, and it really moves it into the shooter well. So when you were uh, considering like how you wanted to do your intake, uh, what made you choose to do like a, an open intake like you are doing right now? Uh, we've done this design or similar ones in the past a lot and they usually work pretty well. So we wanted to keep what works going. And I know we have something really cool with the programming. We have the limelight on here and uh, you guys were able to actually know which color uh, cargo is coming in. So who wants to talk a little bit more about the limelight on your robot and what went into it? So for the detection of the balls, we actually have this limelight right here, which can detect a pipeline based on color. And so when we have our team set as blue, it will basically cancel out this, and it will just track this blue ball, and it'll, can, it'll make the robot point towards it, drive towards it, suck it up, and then it can be shot. But when it has two balls, there's these sensors, IR sensors, and then when both of them are filled, this alignment will go up to the shooting position. So then we can shoot and it can track the target up on the hoop. So we can automatically tra target shooting. Let's continue on in your robot, talk about your indexer uh, into your shooter. Who wants to cover that? So our shooter is actually inspired by a hay bale thrower. And so it has uh, two individual motors and it uses these belts on these wheels which cycles through. We have an azimuth which adjusts the trajectory. So basically we, our intention was to not damage the ball as much as possible and to reduce the amount of spin when we had, uh, when we launched it into the like target, so. So what made you guys do you have on this uh, polycord and as well too it looks like a, some sort of like compliant type wheel on there, like a self wheel. Uh, did you add the polycord later on or was that part of the initial design? Uh, that was always part of the de design. We just wanted something softer so that the ball wouldn't get damaged. So that's why the wheels are a little bit more like flexible. So as for the drive mechanics, we decided on Swerve just because we've done a lot in the past. We've tried Mechanum, we've tried Omni. We've, we've, we did swerve over the summer, actually, and that seemed to work well. It gives a lot of speed and a lot of maneuverability. So we decided to use that just for maximum efficiency on our robot. Well, 5166, thanks a lot for taking the time to tell us about your robot. Of course, going in just week five, you have a fantastic machine so far. Looking forward to what you uh, come up with in your first competition. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks to Striker Careers for their support in this video. First alumni and mentors are making Stryker a top priority for their internships and careers. That's because Stryker knows that those in first are the leaders and innovators of tomorrow. If you want to help make the world a better place by creating life-saving medical devices and technology, get started at careers.stryker.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. 
keep the conversation going, and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now, and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.